Hello, good evening, Prof. This is uh, Odi speaking, and we will be discussing stacks and queues today with regarding to the assignment. And I want to say it was a very great, great exercise because it helped us to look through data structures and it helped us to realize uh, real world complexities in solving a simple problem like print job queue. It was quite a difficult business implementation rather than a technical implementation. So here we go. So I'm going to share my screen. So here we are, I have another two windows open. Okay, so on the left side, I'm going to show some scripts and on the right side too, I can show some scripts. Now here is the left side and here's my data structure stack queues. So here's my latest, um, these are the latest files. So let's open the um, vi json underscore stack. So that's, that's the script I wrote for to stacks in the reverse implementation. So here we are, import request, CSV, sysjson. And if we look here, we have the URL, and this one fetches the HTTP um, data from the URL, from the endpoint, but it didn't work. It asked for some, I guess, account to be created. So we have the data JSON, data.json, what you said now, if you look at the structure, it's a node structure, it's a, it's a memory structure, and here's a class, and we have size to count, and then we have peak and display, and then we have flash to do that, and this is how we're going to have a menu to load data, push JSON stack, and finally to do the stack and pop, and here's the output. So I'm just going to um, Python, JSON, stats reverse my py and if you see here yes i just want to put this to the side because i want you to want to show that the contents of the um, if i do a cat data or json i want um to see want you to see the actual data itself you know how it has come and here okay let's do the first thing let's do data from url so let's try it maybe it'll work now see and if you see uh, we have a user error, 200 requests per day. We can only generate this much, and um, we have to uh, upgrade to a silver plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to record data from JSON file to JSON stack. So now we're going to do this. So it has already loaded the file. Now we're going to do, we're going to push values in data stack. So we're going to push, right. So the first element went through. We're going to push again. Second, we're going to do, push again. And we're going to push again. Then we're going to see now using value three, see? So these are the values of the stack of the stack from top to bottom, right? So now we're going to pop some values, so we're going to five pop, right? We're going to five pop, again five pop, now we're going to three, see? There were only these many values, you know? So now we're going to clear the whole JSON stack, we're going to clear the whole thing, you know? We're going to press six, and the whole JSON stack gets cleared. Uh, yep, there you go, and it says flushing stack. It was done by using a pointer. We just pointed to none and it flushes very well, but we're gonna see how that changes in a queue because we can't just flush it at the queue. We had to send our emails to everyone. So we just couldn't uh, put the pointer to null. Now we're going to, um, yes. Yeah, so now we're going to do the read the text file and push to stack and pop. So we're going to do a reversing a file. So we're going to do this lower rim. Yep, sum a txt, yes. And there you go. It went right in the reverse way. And if we want to check, we can just do a cat lower. Oh, it's called reverse, right? It's called a reverse, yes. And we're doing a test. Here is lorem metal ipsum. That's how it's been reversed. I can put it next door so you can see it. And we take a good look at the ending dot sore and you have a dot sore at the end and we can see that the commas everything has been reversed by the stack and by popping you know now we're going to also do another one i have also another oh sorry here oh here so i have another file here it's uh, it's just called test reverse so i'm going to run this test reverse so i'm going to say read a file test reverse uh, txt there you go and if i do the cat test underscore reverse see i just wrote a little file hi there's a text file to test reversing using a stack and here you can see 
8, hi this sit uh, is see is text and uh, exclamation cats so that's the exact reverse of this and uh, so that's the thing and you can even now um, see the contents okay. Oh, okay okay so let's stop this here probably I haven't pushed anything yep and that's because I have to first load it yes and then I got to push and push and push and push and push and only then should press it you know because there's a sequence to load the stack so i'm just going to get out of this you know i'm just going to get out um and yes and now we're going to go into the into the um, um, queue uh into the queue yes so i'm going to go vi json in the stack in the queue yeah now i want to show you that this is this was a very complex program to write business wise the queue implementation wasn't a problem but it had a lot of code to send emails and i want to show you that to pop out to cancel a particular job in the queue that's option seven that was the toughest one because it's easy to pop out jobs in the beginning it's easy to pop out all jobs but to cancel a job in the middle of the queue that was the tough part and as you can see the code for cancel job is the is the biggest and that required a lot of thinking and how to go right up to the point and reverse it. There's also a very, uh, uh, very new implementation of display. Instead of just going through everything one by one, I, I did a very uh, innovative method. I popped them all out into another queue and then I um, used, and, I, and then I printed the details and then I pushed all these values back into the original queue, you know, but just to have fun with um, these data structures, just to have fun with that instead of uh, using the regular route of going through from the tail up to the head, I thought, why can't I just pop all these elements one by one and then put them in another, in another queue and later put these values back. So I pushed them all from print queue, I put them all into, temp queue and again at the end i put temp queue back into print queue if that's an innovative way of displaying uh, so i just wanted to play around with it okay now let's do this come on python json queues yes okay so here load json file into print queue so we're doing that first the sequence very important then i'm going to do four i don't want to Again, four, 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 four. And as you can see, now I'm going to display here and says the queue length equal to five, one, two, three, four, five. So you can see these uh, elements, right? So this is job one. So this is the job that's going to be printed out first, you know, so we got to be careful now. What I'm going to do is print process job. So here's the process job, C. Pro, it says for five processing job, sending email to Flake Mosh at India Times file. This has been printed. So if you look at that, that's yes, Flickmore at India Times. That's the one. Email and here and the file name is uh, Donic Semper CM. Yes, that's now let's process another job. This looks like a very neat program. It's a very well done program I wrote. So now I popped another one. Oh, okay, but now it said this. So I'm just going to go back and yes, this was the one to COVID in Arizona. Uh, COVID-1 at Arizona.edu. Now I want to display, so I want to display clean. So you see that the, these are the three new ones. Now I want to, so we've done that. We Now let's process. Um, yes, yeah, so we've done process. Now let's clear off, uh, let's clear the jobs. You know, so I'm gonna clear the jobs and this is what it did. It cleared all the jobs one by one. It sent emails to each one of them. It sent emails to each one of them. So now if we look at three, the queue length is zero. I don't have anything. So again, I have to add. So I'm gonna add some more. Add again from the queue, in from the queue. Okay, let's stop here. Now let's do three, see? So you have queue length this and you have all the values. Now I want to cancel only six. So this is the tough part. So if I want to cancel six, I got to first pop these all out to five, put them somewhere, then I got to take out six, send an email to that user, and then I have got to put down, put all these first five jobs back. That And that again was accomplished only by queues. So I'm going to do six. So this is very interesting. Okay, now I'm going to plus, okay, not six, it's seven. So seven. So it's going to ask me, hey, make a selection. And I'm going to say, I want six done, so, okay, so six. 
So, and it actually went to six. It said job six to be deleted. And if you notice, it said Alex Sway at Amazon W. So let's check. Yes, job six is Alex at Amazon.aws.com. Right, so now I want to see if that uses this. So I'm going to do three again. And if you look here, that user's gone, that user's gone. So only nine are here. So let me do one more and we'll stop. So let me do a uh, number four. Yes, uh, okay, so this is seven. Was it? Yes, uh, option seven. And now four, four. Okay, I'm just going to selection four. Okay, we'll see if selection four to Cristolini at alexa.com. Yes, that's job four. So this user should not be there. So I'm going to just do a check again. And there you go. Let's check it out. Yep, 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 yep. That's not there. And finally, yes, I'm just going to, um, um, okay, let me do some more because I enjoyed this one. Number five is, uh, it looks so clean and neat. And finally, yes, um, uh, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. I'm going to, and I'll show you what happens when your queue is empty. See, it says queue empty, no more dequeuing. So it's a very clean program. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. And um, again, we got to go through the loop. And if we again, we can again load the file and we can four, 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 four. And then we'll do a clean shutdown. So let's type number six, clear job and perfect. I want all the emails to go through or go out, you know? So all these jobs were canceled. Each e each user has got a notice, you know? This would be like a very well done print queue program. You know, this would be an extraordinary print program and users would be so notified in the library or wherever they were. Um, okay, uh, then um, I'm gonna quit this and um, I wanna thank you, Prof, and the scripts are there. You can ask me for any, if you have any clarification questions. Thanks and have a nice day, thank you.